Hello everybody, this is Etho, and welcome back to the Minecraft server. Uh, don't look at it, don't look at it, not yet. I got something to show you guys. I have finished it, I finished the worker shack, so here it is. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, not a lot different from what I've shown before, uh, in the front anyway. Uh, I put in a straight path here and a flower bed, got some tulips and... Uh, what were those Azura bluets or something? I can't remember. Um, it it's done for the most part. There's some tweaks I'm gonna make to it, like this path, for example. I just qu put this in really quick, but I'm gonna make it more curvy and random later, uh, most likely. But the big thing, the roof. Oh, how I've dreaded doing the roof. Ta-da! <laughs> it's done. Uh, I kind of cheesed out on it a little bit, but I think it turned out fine. I'm happy with it. Uh, it's the uh, acacia wood on top. I put in a bunch of these beams just to make it look like it has some structure to it. This is spruce wood. Uh, I have no idea what to do with this floor, though. If you guys have ideas, let me know. Uh, kind of be ashamed to leave it just plain like this. But there's... I don't know. <laughs> what could I do with it? Put some chests here, maybe... I thinking maybe put an information board here. Or something, I don't know. Like, uh... If, uh, BWO or .m or somebody's here and I gotta leave them a message. And for some reason I don't wanna use Skype, I could always just put a sign <laughs> on the information board. Probably won't ever get used if I do that, so... I don't know. Um... Also wanna make a few tweaks. I haven't finished this room or these rooms, they they need some something else to them yet. Um, like a chest and, and whatnot for people to drop off their stuff. I ended up making the window a little bigger. Uh, we got two portals on each side just for symmetry's sake with the glass behind and I guess let's go up on the roof. Pretty happy with how this turned out though. Uh, I got some lights in here now. Tried to hide them as best as I could. This door, these like th this fence gate door, works surprisingly well. I have not had a single zombie or creeper or anything like that come through. Occasionally, I'll have spiders climb over, but it's pretty rare. Um, you know what? I'm the only one online. <laughs> let's let's skip the day here, so I don't die outside. D. Most people say Z when they sleep, but I say D. Or, or people say Z if they're, if they're weird. <laughs> um, let's go on the roof. Yeah, so it's a flat roof. I did a flat roof. The, I don't know. I don't really like high roofs for some reason. Like if I was, imagine this. If I was to make the roof like it should be. Uh, you would see orange probably up to there because uh, it would have to have a really steep slope to it. Well, not a really steep slope, but if it was like a realistic roof, it would be probably a lot steeper than that. So you would see a lot of orange at the top of the building. I don't think I would like that. I like the way it looks just as it is from down here. Um, but yeah, the roof, pretty, pretty uh, basic, I guess. Um, symmetrical. The sides of the building and the back of the building aren't very good either, <laughs> but but they, they'll work. Uh, let's just take a look. I wasn't really... I did those last, so obviously there's not a lot of uh, sense to it, but... Ooh. But I just put a bunch of uh, these, like, flower bed things outside the windows. Maybe a few too many of them, but... I don't really care. Um, and the wall is pretty much flat or straight, so not a lot of character to it. I don't know if I showed this foundation before either, but I did this with the foundation. Uh, tried to give it some, some depth. And if we go inside, this is where I've been hiding all the... all the cobblestone and dirt that I got from excavating the arena. Lots and lots of chests full. Uh, oh yeah, the backside. 
gonna put maybe some lighting around the building yet and some some bushes and stuff maybe some trees like like this area here is really plain <laughs> so we could grow some trees in front of there and it would look just fine I think uh, that's the big window oh you know what I never put the flowers back here oh well uh, but yeah that's that's the building pretty happy with how it turned out and we got a lot of stuff here so I think we're we're about ready to start building this and that's the other big thing here I <laughs> Can we see it from on top of the roof here? I excavated out this big, big area here. Actually, Doc M helped a little bit too. He he came by and uh, helped me remove some of the dirt that was left from last episode. So thank you, Doc, for that. That's a big help. Um, big area, very big area. That took a long time to do, actually. Uh, Doc also, this was so awesome of him, <laughs> he brought by a ton of gunpowder, which we're going to need, because uh, with the capture points we're going to be using colored fireworks to that get launched when somebody uh, takes over a point, probably, to indicate what team it is, because we can't do like text commands uh, like we could on the Feed the Beast server, unfortunately, uh, where it announces when a capture point is taken over. Doc also brought by two stacks of glowstone, which is pretty cool too. Most likely going to be using all that stuff, so that's that's great. Big help. And this is what it looks like from down here. It's it's pretty big. <laughs> there's there's a lot of space we got to fill here. Um, so hopefully we can get a move on that pretty quick. It feels good though. I'm I'm glad I sunk the walls or I sunk the whole thing down like this. It feels enclosed. Um, the walls are very flat right now, but I'm gonna be putting 3D or not 3D, but like more depth to them, so it won't look so so plain and boring. Uh, but yeah, this is this is what we got to work with. So the next part of this, we're gonna uh, plan the layout for the buildings and the capture points and all that stuff. So uh, maybe we will get to that now. All right, everybody. So let's get to it. Let's do some planning. <laughs> I don't know how this will go, but we'll we'll try it out anyway. Uh, so this pillar, this is the very center of the map. I just double checked too. It's 29 blocks to that wall from here and 29 to that one. So they're they are the right width. <laughs> Uh, you always want to double check that before you start anything, uh, otherwise you're going to have big trouble later down the road. Um, so this is the center, and we're for sure going to be putting a capture point here. So let's get that going. We'll just put this here as a reminder or an indicator of where that is. All right. And I think for most of the capture points, we're going to want buildings. Um, like have them inside buildings, I think it's probably best. I did this right, right? Yeah. <laughs> so the middle one's going to be the most important building. Uh, so I think let's make it two stories. Let's here. I'm gonna I'm gonna write this down. Two story building. Not like building. Uh, not like two full stories, but like uh, on the second floor, I want a balcony where people can snipe down at the capture point and shoot down. Uh, Two-story building, sniping on second floor. Sure. <laughs> Just to serve as a reminder. And we'll try to do a rough sketch of the building. I'm sure I'm going to change this later, though. Uh, so in respects to the rest of the map, I wonder what a good size would be. It looks like the buildings actually need to be pretty small so maybe we'll try just this uh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna necessarily make the whole map symmetrical like mirror each side like this side the same exactly the same as this one but they should be similar in shape and the capture point should definitely be uh, evenly spaced I think but they don't necessarily have to have the exact same building on both sides. It could just be a building of similar size and shape, and it will be fine. 
main thing is that it's fair. All right, it's <laughs> just a rough square. Um. Okay, how about this? Let's uh, add some a asymmetry, I guess. Rather than having the capture point right in the center of the building, maybe we'll offset it a bit. Uh, let's go. Let's make the building come out more this way. And less this way. I'm just building like an outline for it. Alright. Yeah, we'll move it more like this. Okay, and then we'll put the doors to go in. For each of the capture points, we should have at least three ways of approaching them. Four would be better. Just so, like, like if there was only one way into this building... Let's pretend this is a door. If somebody's sitting on the capture point, they know they'll have their bow drawn because the only way someone's going to come in is through that door. So you want at least three or four ways of approaching it so that people can still surprise them, I think. So uh, one path to get in here will probably be about here. We'll do, we'll do like a door over here. door over on this side. Alright. And I guess it'd be nice if there was like a door here, maybe up on the second floor. I'm considering making it so that the second floor of this building connects to this, like a uh, an upper area by the other capture point so you could like snipers can run from this building to the next capture point uh, above everybody else uh, without having to go down to the ground have like a walkway yeah maybe maybe let's do like a walkway like a tunnel that goes over top here and then comes back down <laughs> this is a really rough sketch so people will be able to run outside the building over here and, and uh, snipers will be able to run over top uh, to over here. The next capture point, I'm thinking like, I want three of them to be pretty close to the center. So maybe like another one over here and then another one a little closer to spawn like over there. How far is that? That's uh, that's pretty close still, isn't it? Ah, maybe not. <laughs> mm. Go from here to here. Yeah, you know, that's probably fine. It'll be a it's going to be a quick paced game, I think. Aha, so this helps quite a bit. I climbed up the pillar in the middle. And we got a nice aerial view of how things are, are positioned right now. So I tried putting down the three capture points. This is going to be mirrored on the other side. Well, not mirrored. It's going to be copied. What would it be? It's it's not a mirror because <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be like a Z. It's going to go whoo to there in the middle, and then out that way, and then zag back. So that point on this side is going to be over there. Um, but looking at this, we can see from here to here is a lot closer than like from there to there. And I think even there to there. It's almost a triangle though. But we can, we can make up the difference by putting up walls. In this game I'm making, people are not going to be allowed to place or break blocks, uh, just because it would <laughs> it would be impossible to maintain the arena if if people did that. Uh, so I'm going to try also uh, prevent creepers and stuff from being in here, so he doesn't blow up everything and and wreck our day. Um, so we could, for example, put up a wall between this building, like running through here, so that people can't just go straight from there they have to go around the wall um, or find find some way around it 
so that will help to make the arena feel a lot bigger and also make use of more areas than just like people going straight that that's the spawn by the way i think for the middle point we should have almost a straight passage through to get to it um for this i almost think i should have a wall blocking it from spawn so people can't just go straight from there to there it should be more of a, a roundabout way like maybe that to come up and go back maybe and give that team almost direct access to it like a straight path from their side to there uh, if that works out um, this is supposed to be the easy capture for that team though uh, so I don't want to make it too tough uh, what was I gonna say too this arena feels a lot smaller as well because right now I have speed from the beacon so the actual running times are going to be a little bit longer like from from what I'm, I'm doing here should take a little bit longer to go from point to point uh-huh but anyway <laughs> I guess that's probably all we're going to do with this today I'm going to try to do a lot of the planning off camera because it's going to take a long time <laughs> I gotta say it's a big area to fill got lots of things to figure out and uh, uh, probably change my mind on a lot of things as as we do this try to make things as fluent as I can uh, I just wanted to give you a taste of what's involved though how I'm making some of these decisions and planning the map um, in case I don't know in case you ever do something similar I guess <laughs> uh, Anything you build, it's good to plan stuff out like this, though, before you get started. Otherwise, you will regret things later, uh, possibly, or things won't work out too well. So, just wanted to share some of the, the planning process with you. Before we end this, though, I did do something else uh, just a few hours ago with Zisto. He invited me along on a wither fight, so here is some footage from that. And I hope you enjoy it. All right, so I've returned with reinforcements. I tried this once on my own. And, and welcome back to Terraria 1.2 is... EZ! <laughs> <laughs> the game went three-dimensional. We're in patch 1.3. Uh, uh, that's some <laughs> fancy mithril gear you got on right now. Yeah, we've got a new boss to fight. I've lost my mushroom spear, however. Mm. Uh, but there's a wither on the other end of this portal. I'm not sure exactly how close to the portal he is. Do you want to buff up now or wait till we get on the other side? Uh, maybe buff up now. At least now? the eight-minute ones. The eight-minute ones, okay. Should Sounds good. Fine. And then save the regen, I guess. So you said you got him to half health? like? Yeah, I got him to half, and then I had to run away. He's probably back to full. Oh, okay. I'm not exactly sure. We'll find out. But he should be vi his health bar will be visible when we go through. Cool, cool. Are you ready to go through and? You got arrows and everything. Yeah, I'm good to go. All right, let's go take a beating. All righty. Oh, we're gonna be up on a platform. Oh gosh, uh, we're gonna be up on a platform. This isn't the best. Okay, he's floating <laughs> over there. Okay, um, are you trying to protect anything around here? No, no, no. This is, this is all trash. Okay. <laughs> Come down here. There's a ladder. Yeah, it, nothing really matters. As long as we can get back through. He doesn't blow up the portal. He's right over there. There's his health bar. Yeah, he's back to full health. Oh, this is fun. Were you fighting him on ice? Yeah, well, I was just fighting. Yeah, all, all around here in the forest. <laughs> he sort of. I summoned a bunch of chickens to distract him, and he just sort of ran off all over the place mm. in the opposite direction of all the chickens. I see some baby chickens around here. Mm, yeah. There's a ravine here, by the way, so watch out. He's he's pulling up a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the chickens, I don't know. There he is. Alright, come get some wither. Oh, oh. Nice. Oh, oh. I hate how he gets right in your face. It's so annoying. Yep, 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 yep. By the way, I'm totally not shooting you. I'm, t I'm shooting the wither. Okay. 
Oh boy. You okay? Yeah, he out. Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, uh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Yeah, he does a lot of damage. It's down to close to half. Day. Get your sword ready. Here he is. Oh, suck it, Wither. Can't got him. Finish. You got him. Oh, oh baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is so much easier with two people. Uh, watch your health, by the way. The beginning. I thought you got that already. How's your health? It's good. It's good. Okay. Thank you. I could have sworn I saw you got that in chat. Or uh, no, I think there's one for summoning him. Mm, there must be one name very yep. similar to that. That's what, I got. That's what I got earlier. Uh -huh. Oh, why does this last so long? It's so <laughs> annoying. You got the star? It didn't blow up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I definitely got it. Thank you very much. Good, good. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, free potions! <laughs> yeah, he really did a number on this place. I, I thought he would, like, destroy the, the canyon over there, but he didn't really even go near it. Mm. Yeah, sometimes they just see something they like and they go right for it and then. Yep. Go 100 blocks out somewhere. Yep, but uh, thanks very much. I may have to uh, give you some like complimentary ender repair service or something. Oh, yeah. I already gave you an extra stack of dirt just because I, I wanted to finish the job. Ooh, you know, if, if I, I can supply you like yeah, 20, that's what I was thinking. 20 I was double thinking, chests uh, full of dirt if you want to just go to town and <laughs> 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 never stop. Oh, I would still charge, but I was thinking of lowering the price but making a clause where people have to supply the dirt. That would be cool. Yeah. I would probably use it more if you did that. Really? Yeah, because it just doesn't take long, really. Uh, anyway, um, I guess that's it. That's it. You got the iron for your beacon? Yep. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for the help. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I dropped these seeds here <laughs> like two, three hours ago. Nobody was online to make them disappear, so I'm picking them all up. <laughs> uh, so that was the Wither Fights. Turned out good, didn't die. That's always a good thing. Wither Fights have gotten a lot harder since they nerfed protection armor. It's actually a challenge uh, to stay alive, especially if you don't have maxed out gear. Um, you almost, you pretty much need to use regen and instant health, which is good, I think. Uh, before we end the episode, though, there is one more thing. Oh, we're going to do some shopping, I think. Let's go over to Anders, <laughs> his horsey shop. I saw he refilled the diamond armor, and I am all, all about that stuff. I'm still planning, I don't know if I, I think I said this in a video, but I, I want to sometime soon make an army of uh, super mules uh, to help me move stuff around when I, whenever I need to. Also Zisto, he, like you said, uh, when we were fighting the wither, he fixed up a bunch of the holes around Ethocorp, which is awesome. Um, we, we hired him last episode, so he did it. Good job. Uh, he also brought by a diamond from the Death Games kill a little while ago. Okay, so he, man, he's got so much horse armor. <laughs> it's insane. Four, four of those. And they're, are they still five each? Yes, they are. Haha. -ha. Not a problem. You can't get this stuff any, any other way. You gotta find it. Yes. Okay, so I think I'm up to seven diamond horse armors now. I think two of them are in use though, so can definitely use a few more. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, I just checked Seth's shop. He still hasn't updated. And Doc, man, <laughs> I don't mind paying for stuff. Uh, I do really appreciate all the free stuff you've given me though. Uh, but if you ever put gunpowder at the Doc shop, I will definitely buy it um, just for personal use. I'm going to use that other gunpowder for the arena stuff. Um, let's just check it one more time. I think he's still doing the name tag thing. Yeah, there it goes. Name tag. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, 
I guess that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I just mostly wanted to show off the work, sh work shack today. But uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And I will see you again next time. Message board. Seth did this. I have to watch his video. See exactly what that's all about. But yeah. Take care, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.